6 tonight, a controversial drug rehab center is forced to hand over records that could prove employees are trading drugs in exchange for sex with patients. The Oklahoma Supreme Court denied Narconon Arrowhead's request to keep those documents private. Tess Monty joins us now with the new details here at 10. Tess? Scott and Terry, the attorney who asked for those documents, says Narconon considers employee records to be confidential because many are former patients. So the facility claims that releasing them would violate physician-patient privilege. But the records requested are only those related to employee misconduct. It's been more than four years since Heather Landmeyer went from a bubbly, free-spirited 20-something to a woman in a vegetative state, fully dependent on another's care. We're so blessed that we do have her here still, but it's definitely exhausting and it's such a challenge every day. Heather was a drug addict. Her sister Hillary says Heather got hooked on heroin after high school. It was something her family never suspected. The popular girl who's just loved by everybody, um, you never think that she can have anything going wrong in her life. And she's, you know, it was her, her little kept secret that she didn't tell anybody about. Heather went to Narconon Arrowhead to get help. It's a drug and alcohol rehab center near McAllister that treats with teachings inspired by the Church of Scientology. Heather tried treatment at Narconon three separate times. During her third stint, her family claims she fell back into the grip of addiction, this time at the hands of Narconon employees. And it got to the point where she relapsed and had relapsed and was being provided drugs by these two different full-time staff members uh, in exchange for sex. Donnie Smolin, the family's attorney, says when Heather tested positive for drugs, she was kicked out of the program. No one in her family was called. Within hours of her release, Heather had overdosed in a Tulsa hotel room. The facility knows how much drugs is going through that place, how much sex is going on, uh, and they allow it to keep occurring. Heather's family has filed a civil lawsuit against Narconon. Smolin says he believes there are more cases like Heather's, but have been swept under the rug, hidden in employee records. Narconon CEO Gary Smith gave us this statement. All of these questions are based on allegation Mr. Smolin has raised in a civil lawsuit to bolster his case. They are just that, allegations. The appropriate place to discuss these matters is in a courtroom. Smith says he will comply with the Supreme Court ruling. Tess Monty, News on 6 tonight.